Young Red Productions is an independent music label. They have been rising to the top for seven years, changing the game of hip hop and R&B. Okay, well this is how YRP got started. Actually, YRP got started when, a long time ago, maybe I would say about 2002, you know, had a little small apartment, had a little uh, four track. If you know what a four track is, like a little digital audio little box that has four sliders on it, you know, put four tracks on it. So, uh, you know, I used to uh, core audio on there with the beat machine that I still had to this day, kind of MP7. But yeah, I just, I just would have, it, be, it was me, my brother Bo, Hardheads, and some other cats we was uh, fooling around or whatever. And uh, we started recording, you know, microphone in the closet. Uh, you know, I had it set up and had the uh, four track set up in the, in the living room. And so that, that, pretty, that pretty much made up the basic studio right there. Oh, man, you know, to really see where Red has come from, man, uh, <laughs> you know, starting out off up in a little marching band off at Skyline High School, uh, you know, him and his little sticks. And, I mean, he played drums, I played drums. Miko played drums, Bo played guitar, Red played keys, I played keys. Miko plays, uh, he plays keys here and there. So, I mean... We, we all been at this music thing, man, for a pretty good while. And for me to just really see Red come from the marching band to um, to just even like the, the, the one of the first beats that he laid, you know, he was kind of blown by it that he realized he could he could make a beat and loop a track. Rob's show is dedicated when it comes to writing music. He uses creativity in all of his writing. That compliment that Young Red made about my writing, I, you know, that's outstanding because I do feel like, you know, that is my strongest suit. You know, in college, I had a lot of um, major in, in English, and I think my strongest thing was writing besides design. It, and, you know, when you think about writing, it's an art, you know, and I'm very into art. And so I take that seriously. And my thing with writing is that, man, you got to tell a story. Anybody can sing about sex, let's be honest. Anybody can sing about money. But where is your, you know, your penmanship? Where, where is your storytelling? You know, like artists like Drake now, you know, he's a storyteller. Kanye West, you know, like him, love him, hate him. He's a storyteller, even Jay-Z, you know, and I think r and is lacking that. You know, so quick to jump to the chorus and, you know, get everybody singing along, but you forget the storytelling. We got, uh, we got Hard here. You know, he's like the best freestyle I've never heard. You know what I'm saying? You tell him to rap about, you know, my black shirt. You know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll freestyle about that for five minutes. We change to the same subject. Cushion, get by foul. God, it's my cushion. Rap and forgive, but they ain't seen dope. A lot of folks hating, really don't know. Really don't care. Dramas in the air. One life to live, ain't got a spare. Using time wisely, using my gifts. Fell rock bottom, now I got a lift. Dreams as a boy, still got there's a man. Folks down with me, I can count on one hand. Think positive, live positive. Not Conflicts in the studio, I would say no. But you know, when it comes to music, people gonna have their different opinions. And it just depends who comes to the studio. You know, my cousin HD, the hook doctor, you know, he he he'll be he'll be straight up with you. If, if he don't like it, you know, he'll 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 tell you straight up. You know, and then I mean you gonna take it how you take it. He was doing the song and said, Come over here so we can see where you at, so yeah. we can tell you where to stop at. Yeah. He was he sat down and so we can all be on point and be together. Okay, if you're going to be going, together, there, then you need to hook. tell me what I need to put down. It's if you tell me, if you tell me it's going to tell him, man. Come on, man. Hold on. Come on, man. Hold on. Hold on. We sat over here like we were supposed to. We wrote, we wrote our music down. I said, Rob, come in a little closer. Rob, come in a little closer so we can be on point. Hook, 
verse? Yeah. Mike, what did you Ryan? tell me? Who? Mike, what did you tell me? Come sit down. Did you tell me, Different bro, you got your 12 bar? Did you not tell me, Different bro, you got your 12 bar? down in the circle, yes or no? It don't matter. It don't matter. Exactly. It don't matter. Wow. Oh, man. I can't even call that conflict, man, because for the simple fact is, his last name is Amos. My last name is McKinley. But really, at the end of the day, man, we just good old-fashioned Williams boys. You know what I mean? Uh, he come to me, and I come to, I go to him, and pretty much just say, "Hey, man, you know, we, we, you know, we all fall short. We all slip. We all fall. But you know, it's not for us to keep our our feet or our foot up on on their necks. It's just about us pretty much going to one another and say, "Hey, man, you lacking right here? Come on, let's step it up." And we accept anything that we all say and love. So. It, it, it's never conflict because, at the, like I said, at the end of the day, man, we just Williams boys. After spending hours in the studio and waiting for his song patiently to hit the radio waves, it can all be frustrating at times, but he somehow maintains and keeps all of his motivation. What keeps YRP going? Do you know what keeps YRP going? Divine keeps YRP going. He motivate me. I got my boy Young Keys, he motivate me. Rob Show, he motivates me. Every artist under YRP motivate me. I myself, you know, it, it's, it's been some times where, you know, I, I really don't hear from no one and I feel like, you know, I'm just doing this all by myself, which is, you know, ain't nothing wrong with it. But sometimes you just need some motivation. But, you know, I, I, I got them boys that's always telling me, you know, hey, man, I can't, I can't wait to just take off, man. We're going to do this next show. And that just keeps me, you know, Motivated, keep on going, going on, and and, and and just pushing myself. You know, Bo, he he's on. He he's always he's always trying to get up in the lab. You know, every man, everybody that's that's in that's in YP, they motivate me. And then I had my brother blessed. The label went through difficult times when the singer Blessed went to prison. Blessed is a gifted singer unlike any other. He perfected his voice by singing every day on the cell blocks. Blessed is set to be released in 2010 and will walk out a new man and reclaim the title King of R&B. I performed at Crystal's, that's a club out there in uh, Grand Prairie. I performed at uh, Brooklyn's. Um, it was a club in Ronnie's, you know, that's where we did our first, uh, our first show with, at Ronnie's, out down in Deep Ellen, but you know, Deep Ellen, you know, ain't nothing too much going down, going on down there no more, it's shutting everything down, but, uh, you know, that, that was like one of my best moments of, you know, doing the show down at Ronnie's. We gotta keep on doing it. The music that's out now is not what it should be. You know, R&B is lacking, man. And, and our music is there, and we just need that shot. So we quit now, and no one ever hear us. Look forward to, you know, uh, what's coming, you know, because what's, what's coming is better than what's now. So, you know, y'all just keep your eyes open and your, 
your, your, your ears open and your hearts open because the music's coming to all three at the same time. You feel me? Uh, YRP, Young Red Production, man, it's about to go down. 2008 is over, 2009. We're trying to shine, but it's about to be 2010, and we're about to win. I'm going to holler at you.